Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will show you how to install kernel SMS gateway on Ubuntu machine and then I will demonstrate how we can trigger real SMS, single SMS and both bulk SMS from kernel SMS gateway. So any kind of kernel SMS gateway installation support you can always reach out to me at this Gmail address as well as this WhatsApp number. So first of all, we'll be needing an Ubuntu 18.04 VM. Then on that VM, we'll install kernel SMS gateway and then we'll connect our kernel SMS gateway with an SMTP provider. Kernel actually supports both SMTP and HTTP API. So let's connect with the server. So this is our server IP. Okay, so we are connected with our Ubuntu server. Let me check. As you can see, it is Ubuntu 18.04 server. So in order to install kernel, we have to install another package that is libxml2. And uh, I guess it's already installed here. Let me check. Yeah, it's already installed. If it's not installed on your Ubuntu machine, then you can easily install it using this command. As it's showing that it's already installed. Okay, now let's install kernel. Okay, so kernel is installed and also it is recommended that we add our kernel user into the dial out group because it will really help you if you want to connect your kernel with any preferred device like USB or GPS, GPRS modem. You can also verify it whether it is added or not yeah you can see that kernel is added on that dialog group okay so now we need to add the kernel configuration actually inside this kernel configuration we have to configure our smpp provider ip port username and password those credentials okay so the location is kernel, kernel.conf. So this is the by default configuration. So let us just take a backup here and then create a new file. So this is the kernel configuration we'll be using to trigger SMS. So just copying and pasting. Now the main part is this SMSC part. So as we are using SMTP connection as an SMSC, so we have to put our SMTP provider host port username and password here. So let me put that. So in our case, this is our SMPP provider IP and the port is 2775, username is SMPP client and password is test12, I guess it's right, yeah, test12, okay. So we have uh, saved the kernel configuration file. So after any change on the kernel configuration file, we have to stop and start the kernel service. So let me check the kernel configuration, kernel status, it's running. 
stop it. Okay, so it stopped. Now let me start it again. Okay. So now I actually we can uh, check the tunnel status also from the web GUI. Just open a new browser. Okay, so to check the status, this will be your link. I mean, HTTP, the server address, then the port 1300. Triple zero and status and password is kind of because on the configuration file I have used password as kind of. So as you can see, it is showing the kernel bear box version and all of the different information information. So the main part is here, the SMPP provider that we have used, whether it's online or not. So if you can see this, it's online. So it's actually ready to send to trigger SMS from here. Now to trigger SMS, we can trigger using the HTTP API call. And for that, we need actually a sender ID. So this sender ID or a party is actually uh, the number that your SMP provider has assigned for you. So in my case, this is number. And I will be sending SMS to my mobile number. This is my mobile number. So the link will be like this your server IP then port and the username password that you have used on the kernel configuration and then from number that sender ID A party and the B party your mobile number or on that on which number you have you want to send on so you have to put that number so let me copy it here and paste it there okay now to show you the actual delivery, I have also connected my mobile here. Okay, so my mobile is connected. As you can see, I, this is my SMS app. So now let us trigger the SMS and let's see whether it works or not. So let me do it this way. Okay, so the problem is that we didn't make the SMS box up. Yeah, so that's why it is not finding because your SMS box will be running on this port. So let us start the SMS box first. So SMS box minus B, then your kernel configuration. Yep. So your SMS box is running. Now you can see that it's SMS is actually triggered and uh, it is also showing that the delivery port that is accepted. So let us check or and did you really get this or not? Yeah, you forget the SMS landed here. Yeah, so we we have used actually this sender ID and the text was kernel works, right? So the similar content with the same a party has delivered and also we got the ex accepted for delivery the no error. Now, we can also write a small Python script to trigger SMS, I mean, the bulk SMS. Let it be running there. So for that, uh, first of all, let me check the Python version. It is 3.6, okay. So the script may look like this, very small script. Let me copy first here and then I will show you. So let me name it, let's say .py. Okay, 
so actually we have a uh, import request and then we are actually requesting the same url that i have uh, shown you just now so we are actually triggering the same http api call and uh, script will also show you the status code and uh, the apart is also same whatever your smb provider has fixed for you and this is my mobile number so the sms will be actually going to this number and the text will be kernel works okay so let me save it now uh, i'm on root but it still is good to have execution permission for it so now if i trigger for one time say python 3 send by so it should trigger one sms yeah so let me check the sms can yeah the second sms also came okay now we can trigger bulk sms just running it on a loop so like uh, while sleep three so every three seconds it will call the script do python this one i mean it will call the semi script and then done okay okay so let us check whether yeah so as you can see sms is started to come one by one yeah So this is how we can actually send single SMS as well as bulk SMS using kernel. So that's all for today. Bye.